Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Dirty Dave, and I got another defensive guide for you guys. This time it's for fireplace and mining on cafe. As you guys already know, these strats are my variation of strats that I see in the high ranks of Platinum and Diamond, and what I see in Pro League. So there's a lot of things to learn, a lot of things to see. So I'm definitely going to have timestamps, especially since this video is really long. So if you guys just want to skip around and watch the parts you're interested in, that's perfectly fine. But if you guys enjoy the video, please leave a like, and if you want more videos like this, please subscribe. Other than that, let's get right into the video. Starting with our team composition, we're going to have two anchors and three roamers no matter what. So for our anchors, we're going to be taking Smoke and Amira, two of the best defenders in the game. Now for our third, fourth, and fifth pick, there are six potential options that you can take, and I'm going to go over all of them. So for our third potential pick, Castle was picked every single time in Pro League along with Smoke and Mira. So he was pretty popular in Pro League, but when it comes to rank, he's not a popular op, so I offered a substitute. Now for the six optional ones, it can be Castle, Mute, Jaeger, Legion, Vigil, and Valkyrie. Alright, so then there's three variations that you can take. So there's a anchored favorite setup, a roamer favorite setup, and then there's a hybrid. So for the hybrids, you can swap Jaeger and Vigil are swappable, Castle and Legion are swappable, Mute and Valkyrie are swappable. Now my favorite setup for the hybrid will be Jaeger, Castle, and Valkyrie. So hopefully you guys get all that. Now for the anchored favorite setup, it would be Jaeger, Castle, Mute. For the Roamer favorite setup, it would be Legion, Vigil, Valkyrie. So hopefully you guys got all of that. And let's get right to it. Start the timer. And I didn't pick an operator. Rip, 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 rip. I'll be back. Alright, so I'm back with Smoke now. We're going to go over reinforcements because, you know, those are the most important thing when it comes to prep phase. So... There's a little bit of variation at the end, but I'll go over it. So, 10 reinforcements total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, for your 6 reinforcement, there's two options. You can put 6 or 6. So, if you have a castle, I would put it right there. If you don't have a castle, I would put it right there. Now, going to 7, 8... Ooh, I think I got my, Oh, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, yeah, I got 4 left. I was thinking I had 3 left. I was like, no. Alright, so for 7, 8, and 9. 7, 8, 9. Now, for your 10th one, your 10th reinforcement is going to go where your second mirror goes. Your black mirror. So, this can be 10. Or this could be 10. So, on the 10th reinforcement, that's where your mirror will go. So, we got reinforcements done. Next up, barbed wire. So, out of all the potential options that I offered, you have four total possible barbed wire. So, what you would do is, with one set, one person, you can put right here, right here, or right there, or right here. So... With those two barbed wires, you have those three options. I would probably put it right there and right here. And then for your second set of barbed wire, I'll put it one, two, right here. Or you can put one and then skylight drop. You can do that. So th that's it for barbed wire. Next up, angles and destruction. So a lot of your angles and destruction play towards your mirror windows, but right here, this is rotation this is something you would do with your shotgun and then I'll go to the angles in a second so right here I'm doing rotations first um you, you might not want to blow this hatch one because most likely if the attackers are dumb they're gonna plant right here and if they plant on the hatch and you destroy the hatch you automatically win the round because the diffuser gets destroyed or out of the sight after it's planted. I guess it says it gets destroyed. And then the attackers lose, defenders win. But if they are uh, smart, they would plant in these corners. So, 
That's sad, but you can. I know you can try for that. So we got that, and then you would want to blow all the hatches except for the one that I said to reinforce in cigars. So you blow that hatch, this hatch. Oh god, I missed. I was looking at my compass. Leave me alone. So bars they like, run north to south in general, and that's why I was looking at the compass because you have to go against the bars. See, so you can see they run north to south. And if you go against the bars, then you can hit more bars and it destroys the hatches faster. Because this one, I went with the bars and it took more than one shot. So, that's that hatches rotation. You're probably going to want a rotation right here. That's it. Right there. And then if you have a mirror on this wall, then you would have a rotation right here. But I'll get more to that in a second. So we have that. So that's practically all our rotations. Now going on to the angles. Um, so the second mirror is going to create a lot of variation in your angle. So I'm going to go over the first mirror. So the first mirror and the first mirror, no matter what, you're going to have a mirror right here. So right here, this is going to be my little mirror window that we looked through. Probably get the same view. So what we're going to do is destroy this wall. Okay, so now with this part, you want to line up these two walls because you can destroy them too. So you can get two and one. That's solid. So right about there, we got that. Okay, so now with the rest of the destruction, I'm gonna show you guys. Well, I'll get to that second. Um, you can have a rotation hole here if you want. Rotation hole here, optional, and a rotation hole here, optional. Now. With this, so with this first mirror, what you can do is you can see them when they hop through the window, bam, bam, hop through that window, bam, bam, come up the stairs, bam, bam. Now, if they try to come down the stairs, you'll see their feet before they even see the mirror window. So you see their feet come down, aim a little bit higher, bam, bam. So we got that, and you can see them if they try to go through. If they try to crawl by, I guess that's why you can put a mirror, uh, barbed wire right there, and they'll probably try to break it, and then you'll be able to hear that. And when you hear them break the barbed wire, you probably want to shoot a little bit before. So if you have barbed wire like right there, then you probably want to shoot like right here. Got that. And then you have angles over there. So you can kind of, I don't know, maybe. You might be able to get someone. And if they repel through the window, shoot them, and then it kind of takes away the cover. So that's mainly that for the angles. And the rest of the angles I'm going to show you guys is when I go over Mira. So if you want to look at more angles, go to the Mira section that I have in the timestamps. So next up is runouts. So runouts are important to defend your operator on the second Mira. So like I said, you can have the second Mira right here or upstairs. So I'm going to show you guys some runouts. Um, you can hop out of these windows. You can hop out of these windows right here. Because they will be repelling shooting your mirrors. You can break this, like, break the barricade and shoot them. You can impact this garage wall. Which I think I'd rather impact this garage wall and run out. Instead of breaking the barricade. So break the garage wall and run out. So let me simulate that real quick. So you run out and then bam, bam. And then right here, this is probably the best run out for the south if they try to get the mirror in fireplace. So right there, you would prep the window. If you do have a mirror in fireplace as your second uh, mirror window, make sure to prep out this window, uh, prep the hop, hop out and then Bam. So you got that. Now, for your other mirror window, if you have it on the third floor to help your roamers. 
So, right here. Let me show the mirror window first. So you're gonna be the mirror windows could be right here, and it's gonna be vulnerable to these windows. So you want hop outs to shoot the people who are repelling on those windows. So right here, prep this no matter what. Even if you don't have a mirror right there, that's still a popular repel. So you can hop out of here. Bam, bam. And you can hop, you can also hop out the windows. I didn't show that, but. You can hop out of here. You probably would you would want to impact this because this is a popular spot to have a claymore, so you can keep your distance, impact it, check if there's a laser. You can do that, and then I'll just go to show you guys that there's a vault option. So this is it for the runouts. Okay, yeah. See, there's a vault option, so you can do the runout. Now that we got everything in place, now it's time to talk about operators. So I'm gonna talk about the the simplest one yet, castle. So where you would want to put his barricades is right here. So one barricade right here, castle barricade. If you do take them, a castle barricade here. And now for your second one, it's optional, but I'm gonna give you my two favorite spots. So right here or right here and now once castle jobs done once he castles these doors his job is to roam and him and uh, I guess I kinda I can go over these real quick I have enough time so castle is gonna be a lurker he's gonna be um, castles gonna be the one doing hop outs unless if you have a mute mute and castle have the worst guns out of the potential well, actually Valkyrie does too but Valkyrie needs to play for her cams so they're going to be the ones lurking and going to be the ones doing the hop outs. Castle and Mute. And so is Legion too. Unless they have a Mute. So Legion, Castle, Mute will be the ones doing the hop outs. After that, Castle will be roaming in reading room and on these stairs. This is where he's going to lurk. He's going to lurk in reading room and stairs. So is Legion, but I'll get to that in the next round. So right here, we're on to mirror's job, and I already showed you guys what you want to do for this first mirror window that you want to have every time. Now I have the second optional mirror spots already prepared, show you guys to save some time. So and make sure to see the runout parts so you can help out your mirrors because those runouts are to defend your operator on the mirrors. So right here, this is the optional one. If you want to go anchor heavy, this is the mirror you want to use. So right here in fireplace, you better look down the hall and shoot them and then you open up this one reading so if any attackers come through reading room you can shoot them through the or you can shoot them in there as well so you got this another quick look you got that mirror window and for your second mirror window it is over in third floor on the freezer wall and this is to help defend the attack on cigar lounge so right here this is your window, like I said, you're vulnerable to the, those windows outside and you want to make sure you watch the run out so you know where to hop out from. So right here, good view, you want this rotation hole and then rotation hole here too as well, I forgot to add that in. So right there, so with this, you'll be able to see like majority of cigar right there where they try to breach from above. So do I have another shot? So your first mirror window is right there so you can see the hole. And from right here, you can see them from the mirror window and you'll be able to shoot them. So those are your mirror spots. I'm going over to the next round to show Valkyrie. All right, onto Valkyrie's job. I have some potential Valcams that you guys would like. So with the first Valcam, I guess I need to show this. So hop out through here. So I'm not gonna throw this Valcam, but I'm gonna show you guys how to get in the right position. So you wanna line up with this, or I guess it doesn't really matter, take a little step back, and then aim right about there, and the Valkyrie cam will land right there on that black part. So I wanted a cam that gets a good view of pillars and of second floor. So I'm not gonna throw that cam. Oh, I already showed you guys the other one, but whatever. So there's a default cam. Already has a great view, but the thing is, most of the time people are going to uh, destroy this cam. 
so you kind of want a secondary cam because look look how much this can see so this is actually a pretty useful camera and it's definitely a camera that you want but it'll be destroyed so you just have your secondary valve cam right there so I just showed that cam because that's you practically get the same view just a little bit different angle so if you have that cam and then if you play secure I like to throw a cam right there because usually when people do the final push they're gonna be in this room and it really helps out the final person who's inside train just to keep on spamming it so right here is another nice cam that I like so you just go in this window I think I kinda messed up I just wanna see how far I could get it but you kinda wanna line up with those lines and aim ridiculously high like right about there and this is the cam you'll get so pretty solid cam you see the west you see the south you see like wherever they're gonna repel pretty solid good cam now these final two I am gonna throw so hopefully I can be quick so right here what you want to do is line up with this pull and aim really high bam nice and then right there so gray cam of south and east so a lot of repels this one's definitely gonna help you for whichever mirror your second mirror window you have so you can see where's what and if there's claim wars and where to hop out from so pretty solid cam the reason why you just aim it right there like this whole wall is white and whatever black contrasts a lot with this so that black pipe keeps it hidden so we got that and then for the final valve cam spot is over here something i really like to watch the skylight and it's really cheeky so i like to line up behind this plant and then just throw it's pretty easy throw like there's a lot of room for error so right there you can land on the christmas tree it's like the best spot that blends in like i guess you can say it blends in like an ornament but like anywhere else it's like super noticeable so right here pretty solid see if someone's on skylight and what i like to do is hide right next to this bar so lay down right here they cannot see you and they cannot shoot you so you go on your valve cam you see where they at and if they're droning this is where i like to come out so i see them droning wherever they are like usually it's near the skylight wherever they're droning pull out my c4 chuck it at them easy kill so that's it for valkyrie going on to the next round all right so in this round i'm gonna talk about jaeger lesion and mew in that order so going on with jaeger's thing so he's gonna have barbed wire put one mute to block the smoke so they try to not mute uh ads so right then when they try to throw smoke through the window jaeger can catch them or if they try to ash charge your castle that jaeger will catch one at least so you're gonna load up this hallway with barbed wire or the drops with barbed wire so right there so when they try to nade it that jaeger stops it and then your final jaeger ads is gonna be over here oh you can't put it on that wall right here and jaeger is gonna be roaming he's gonna be your primary or your main roamer so if you have a mirror window right here jaeger jaeger and vigil are gonna be the same person they're gonna be do the same thing so if you have a mirror right here then they're gonna be the ones that play the mirror So they'll be playing right here. So that's Mager, uh, Jaeger's job. And then Vigil obviously doesn't have anything important other than just a roam. Either he's going to play that mirror or, yeah, play that mirror window or he's going to roam in Cigar. So we have that. And then we have. I was thinking about something, but okay, whatever. So then next up, Lesion. So Legion, like I was talking about earlier when I got like cut off because the round was ending. Legion is going to be playing white stairs like Castle. He's going to be your lurker. And then he's also going to be doing runouts and not Jaeger and Vigil. Valkyrie, she can, but you don't want Jaeger and Vigil to do it because they have the best guns and you want them on the head-on fights while the people with the worst guns, you want them to be hopping out because they can get win the gunfight easy because they're shooting, shooting them in the back. So Legion is going to be playing these white stairs. So some lesion spots you can do is you can probably put one right there if they hop in the window and then probably put one right here so if they come through this door or this door most most likely they're going to come behind this for cover and they're going to hit that and when they're hit by a lesion mine they cannot plant the bomb they have to take out the lesion mine first so that's pretty useful so two nice spots 
Then you can put a lesion mine right here in reading just to know if someone's coming through reading. And then the rest of your lesion mine, or actually, oh my god, there's a lot of stuff. You can put a lesion mine on the skylight drop, so the drop skylight, you know. And then the rest of your lesion mines are going to be around these stairs. So like coming up the stairs, like right there, they try to come through the hallway, all around these stairs because this is where lesion is going to be and he's going to hop out. So right there, that's lesion. And the final job, mute. So mute is going to be the one hopping out depending where your mirrors are is where he's going to hop out from. So definitely check out that part of the video. So put a mute jammer for each mirror. So you mute jammer right there and then put your mute jammer on your second mirror so whether it's right there or upstairs and then your third and fourth jammer put one right here on these stairs to stop drones and like to protect legion and castle for the hop out so they don't get droned and then your final mute jammer right here with the barbed wire so when they try to drone from the hatch they get stopped so that's it. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you want more Dirty Dave, please subscribe. Till then, see you guys next time.